What's going on out there, folks? Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're taking a look at the M720T unit. Uh, pretty powerful. We've got an i7, 8 gigabytes of RAM. If we want to get into it, we got to take the front off. Two, three. Not the biggest system, about uh, two thirds the size of a standard unit. We have a look in here. We got two PCI Mini, one. Uh, one video card slot, four slots for RAM, one stick, eight gigs in there. Man, that power supply is super small. And got uh, two sp spots for two NVMe sticks in there. Very nice. Room to expand, especially right here. We got room for extra hard drive space. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, so on the front, we got four or five USB, one USB-C. Oh, not just headset, but uh, uh, microphone and uh, headset power button right there and then here on the back we have an extra four USB network two display VGA and uh, serial I love to see that serial man I'll never get sad to see in that serial and here you can see we got 12 cores i7 at 3.2 gigahertz and an Intel UHD graphics 630. That's not that's not great, but it's not the worst thing either, right? And here we got the specs for that video card if anybody cares. However, since we wanted to be doing real work, real CAD, we're gonna be using something we really need, the Quadro P1000. Very good four gigabytes of RAM on this unit. Well memory at least, so okay, that's good stuff. That's what we need. Some pass mark benchmark. I'll get right back to you guys when it comes to the video section. All right, those planes are flying around pretty nicely at uh, 45 frames per second. Not bad. Uh, just to note, this is only with the internal video. I'll do a benchmark once I get the T1000 in there. And we got, oh geez, only about eight frames per second here. We got 24 frames per second about. Look at those jellyfish. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Not so bad, not so bad. Could be a bit smoother, but 12 frames per second. Mm, that's all, folks. All right, not so bad. 4,300. That puts it just. Oh wow, that's in the top five actually. 4,300 is above an i7 uh, Think Center 1070. And above a uh, Lenovo Xeon P510 workstation. Not bad at all. Let's see what happens when I put a capable video card into this sucker. With a good video card, the P1000. Oh, look at those planes go. That's a night and day difference there, I tell you what. Oh wow. Not bad. Not bad.
Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. That's very good. I'm very happy with that. Anyways. All right, so a lot of power in a little box. I definitely recommend this thing. If you guys uh, like Lenovo systems, check it out. Good stuff, folks. Anyways, this is it for me, folks. Have a good one.